Hi, everyone. In this demo, I'm going to show you an SPFS web part that is listing the user profile uh, awards using the beta Microsoft Graph uh, profile endpoint. So before starting, just a super quick uh, about me slide. Uh, my name is Luis Maniev. I work as a chief architect at Clear People, where we're building a digital workspace platform. I'm a Microsoft MVP in office development, and you can find me in social networks at Luis Maniev. So feel free to pin me with any question or whatever you need. Okay, um, before starting with the web part, um, let me introduce you the Vera profile endpoint in, in Graph API because actually I was happily surprised with all the new information that we can now attach to the uh, user profile in Graph. So here's the list, as you can see, you can have things like skills, projects, positions, languages, addresses, and awards, of course, and some even more. And if that sounds familiar to you, it's because you have a LinkedIn profile. And yeah, you can imagine that now you can have that information in, in your organization using, using Graph. Uh, regarding the awards, uh, you can do the usual CRAD operations. Uh, everything is well documented in, in the beta endpoint. And if you want to do um, a list of, of awards, you have the endpoint behind beta me profile awards or beta slash users slash user ID profile awards. And if you do a get request, uh, you're going to get the different the different awards attached to the user profile. And obviously you need to ground the proper permissions, as you can see in the in the table. Also, if you want to create a new award, and uh, you can do a post request in the profile awards and send in the body with the different properties. So you have the display name, description, issue date, the authority that is issuing the, the award, thumbnail, external web URL, and even uh, some other properties that you can see in the in the table where I just mentioned them. Uh, most important in, in my opinion. And also, again, to create a new award, you're going to need to grant permissions as well, as you can see in the in the table. OK, so um, let's see the web part in action. Jumping into, so as you can see here, uh, I have my uh, web part running locally. So I've created a new a new page and added the my awards web part. So you can see here the list of the different awards I've already configured using Graph. And uh, for each award, uh, we have the title, description, the badge, um, the authority, the date, and also if you click in in view details, it opens the external URL with more information about the uh, about the award. And as I said, well, in the in the next version, I plan to to have um, editing functionality so every user can add their own awards and manage their awards. But uh, in the meantime, you need to, to call the Graph API. And so I have a um, Postman request here to, to add an award. So if we do a post request to the profile awards, um, with this information, description, display name, date, authority, thumbnail, and, and web. And if the token is not expired, this is the request. Yeah, the award has been created with the with the information. Now you have an ID in case you want to uh, select this specific award or delete it and so on. And now if we go back uh, to the page and we refresh, we are getting the information of the of the new of the new award. Okay, so that's pretty much everything about the web part in action. So let me back to the slides. And yeah, let's uh, take a look to the um, uh, more relevant parts in the in the source code. So first, uh, what I'm doing is just modeling the the award with the different properties: ID, name, description. Uh, thumbnail and so on. 
Then I have created an award service uh, class. Um, this class is uh, responsible to query graph and bringing back all the awards of the of the user. In this case, I'm using the, the me endpoints so I'm getting my awards. I'm configuring the, the endpoint and the graph client factory as a, as a property. And in the constructor, uh, I'm using dependency injection and, and the service scope to get the graph client factory that is actually already registered by the SPFX framework. So I'm doing the service scope consume with the service key of the graph factory and getting that graph client factory. And then in the get my awards method, I'm just using the factory to create the graph client and then calling the, um, the awards endpoint graph to, to get the awards shortened by its update. That class is being registered in the, let's say, the dependency injection container in the in the services code. And then in the web part itself, in the onInit uh, method, what I'm doing is creating a, a new services scope. And when the services scope is done, I'm retrieving the award service object that was already registered in, in the previous step. And then that award service object is being passed as a property in the my awards uh, React component. The my awards React component in the component in mode is just using the award service to get my awards. And when it's done, is is updating the the state of the component with the list of the of the awards. And then in the render method, as you can imagine, I'm just rendering a, a list of award components. And finally, the award component is just rendering all the different award properties with the proper styling. So that's pretty much everything about the, the source code. And uh, as usual, it's uh, already available in the PMP web part repository. So feel free to download and test it and let me know how it goes. And yeah, I think that's everything. Thank you very much for having me in the call. And uh, back to you, Patrick. Awesome stuff. Thank you for that great demo there. Love to see that stuff with the use of the graph there. Really interesting. Hope folks check that out. Thank you.